Here we have our new router, which we're going to show it cutting flutes and drilling holes into a disc, which has been hardened by use, just to show that our machines can cut steel um, without any problems at all. What we're going to do now is we're going to do the reference of the tool. I've already inserted the drill, so enjoy the video. Thank you. With the first reference, what we're going to do is we're going to actually tell the machine that this is the first time we're setting this up, so it's going to put its internal offset to zero. For accuracy, we do a double probe. What we'll do now is we'll put the probe in its normal location, ready to do the next tool changes. The machine is going to go to its tool change position and obviously we will be able to now just tell the machine to do it. What it will do now is store the offset from the top of the plate to the top of the tool offset tool and then that will be its reference that it will do for all the next lot of tools to work out a, a working offset. Now that tool length is stored in the machine, ready if we change the tool to another tool. By drill, you'll see we're just doing a very small drill at the moment. As it goes around the surface, it will go deeper. only for reference only we're not blowing air just to show that we don't need to with steel it's now just doing two millimeters deep
It's now going to just sit here until we change the tool. I'll just pause it for now. We've now just changed the tool to a four millimeter two flute end mill. And we will now just uh, tell it that we've done the tool change, it'll do the measurement. These speeds of this will all be optimized when we've got some time. You can vary the depth of cut in any way you want to do it. You can plunge in. We're actually using it a little bit more aggressive than we would do just to show that we can. But um, normally we wouldn't plunge straight into the material like this. We would ramp in. But you're better off seeing the machine being used more aggressively. <laughs> It's all well and good showing machines where they cut like very gentle and don't, not doing any real work. We're trying to make sure that you can see it um, used in real life, what you can do. This is no way trying to show you how to actually cut a disc so that you can use it on your car. This is just an example of what the machine can do. And this is just a scrap disc that we've been used on a car and we just thought it's warped, bent, and we just thought we'd show you cutting something real. If you were trying to do this in real life, you would have to make a jig, you would have to make a flat surface and make sure that the disc is actually flat on the machine and leveled. And then you'd be able to do this a lot more professionally if you wanted to go to that effort. Thank you for watching and just goes to show that a router built well using good quality components can cut steel without any problem at all. We didn't put air on for the simple reason we would like to show you that you don't need to with steel, but if you were cutting aluminium, you really would need to have air pushing away the chips, otherwise you will melt on the tool and cause you problems. Again, thank you for watching and hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you.